Welcome! In this tutorial, we'll look at some of the most important resources FL Studio users have access to. We'll cover the manual, user forums, website including the knowledge base and technical support, and YouTube. Wait, FL Studio has a manual? I know! It boggles the mind. We better look at it then. One of the best features? The manual is context sensitive. So the best way to open it is to click on the window or plugin in FL Studio you're learning and press F1. This will open the online version of the manual. But how to do offline? Let's use the search bar and search for offline installer here. And there it is. Most longer manual pages have hyperlinks embedded in the title image. Click on the section you would like to know more about and it will take you there and save you from the agony of eternal scrolling. I'd like to highlight a few pages that we refer customers to all the time, dealing with common questions. First, optimizing CPU performance. This page shows a step-by-step -step list of things you can do to maximize your computer's number crunching capacity. You will also learn things too. For example, why simply increasing the buffer size doesn't fix everything. Plugins behaving badly. This page contains the list of the common failure modes for third-party plugins and the specific settings in FL Studio that may help. Please note what it says in red. Tell the developer of the plugin. If you don't do this, they may never know there's a problem with it and then it won't get fixed. The same is true on our side. Please use the diagnostic tool and make a technical support post as we will show later. We always fix bugs we can replicate. The page titled What's New in FL Studio 20 gives you a detailed overview of every new feature added since the release of FL Studio 20. Notice all the release videos. Greetings! In this tutorial, we'll see what's new in FL Studio 20. Another great feature of an online manual. Definitely grab your favorite beverage and spend an evening crawling this page to see what you missed. The Making Music page was created for new users. We've embedded all the Getting Started videos and FL Studio workflow is explained in great detail. Specifically, how it differs from other DAWs and some common points of confusion. At the end of that page, there is a list of excellent FL Studio related YouTube creators covering everything from music theory to production in specific genres, from classical to trap. Consider this list as our top picks based on content quality. Another great resource for FL Studio owners is the forum. Once you have logged into your ImageLine account, you will have access to the FL Studio users forum. At the top, You'll be greeted by a forum we refer to internally as Loop Talk. This is the main hub for general FL Studio discussions, how-to questions, forum production contests which happen from time to time, and big announcements like when we release a new version of FL Studio. You can also get to the beta thread from here. The developers and executive management are active in the forums too. You never know when your question will be answered by someone who develops the program or runs the company. Note that staff have red names. A great way to find out if your question has already been answered is the advanced forum search. If you have a technical problem with FL Studio, our tech support team live in these forums here. You'll notice there is red text at the top of the tech support forum. This is a quick guide on how to achieve a fix for your problem without a lot of back and forth. Okay, so I'll let you in on a secret. It really twists our developers around the axle to see people complaining about bugs on social media that they have not reported to technical support. If you don't report your bugs, how can you expect them to be fixed? And we definitely fix all bugs that are reported. So how do you do it in the best possible way? Start with a diagnostic tool to report a technical problem with FL Studio. This creates a private post in the technical support forum with all the necessary information about your operating system, audio interface, drivers and system specs so you don't have to list all that yourself. Then type your issue here in detail. Click here to see your post. And see it's on the forum. And what do you know? I already got a reply. MIDI controller scripting allows you to make FL Studio do more stuff with MIDI controllers. You can, for example, make any button or note be play and pause or stop, or move mixer faders with your sliders. There are a number of reliably working scripts already compiled. If your controller is on this list, start there. The FLP Exchange subforum is for sharing FL Studio projects with the FL Studio user base. 
This is the collaboration station of the forums. Share your project when you're stuck on an idea or you want to show off a cool technique you discovered, for example. If you've ever wondered how to make that awesome bass sound, then the Epic Sound Design and Recreation Forum is for you. Lots of people also provide their own recreations here. You never know what you might find. Finally, we have something that a lot of people seem to miss, the To Do Forum. That's the place to share your ideas and suggestions for upcoming versions of FL Studio. <coughs> Not the YouTube comment section. I mean, what? There are hundreds of ideas posted every month. Also, it may be a good idea to search through this forum to make sure your feature request wasn't made before. The last big resource I'm going to talk about in this video is the ImageLine website. On our website, there's also a help section. If you go to support, you can simultaneously search the manual, the forums, the tutorials, and the ImageLine knowledge base. The knowledge base is a great resource as it's based on common technical account and purchase related questions. For example, how to unlock FL Studio. There is also an FAQ section on the same page. The learning page combines a set of video tutorials and a search bar for the FL Studio online manual. And finally, the news section of the website, which can be accessed from FL Studio directly by clicking on the news panel. Here's where all of the big announcements for FL Studio are made. These headlines will show up in your FL Studio news panel and will always provide a few lines describing the announced item. Now that you know about all of these great resources, there should be nothing stopping you from making what's in your head come out of your speakers as fast as possible. Until next time, enjoy learning FL Studio.